Okay, well, I was speaking about those that are blind. Uh, Jesus said he would lead and not forsake them. But not all are blind today. There are those that work closely with sa Satan, and Satan has given them uh, en enlightenment in a way. That's why he's called Lucifer or, or uh, um, the light bearer. And they don't like to call him Satan, which means resistor of God, but they call him Lucifer, the light bearer. And they claim to be enlightened, and they, in fact, like uh, one of their organizations, they have called the Illuminati, the Illuminated Ones. And Jesus said, the, um, if the blind lead the blind, they shall both fall into the pit. You know, so some, you might say they're blind because they don't know that they're condemned by God. But they know what they're doing, and they might lead somebody else that's blind into a pit, and then rob them, you know. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, it says, oh, you believe there's one God, do you? Well, the, de the demons believe and tremble because they know God is real. But some of these men, they say there is no God and they think no one sees what they do. They are so enlightened. They believe in Charles Darwin, the survival of the fittest. So they think it's okay to prey on their fellow man, to rob them, to get ahead, to become the elite class. These are called the enlightened ones. These are the ones that are, are that see. Remember, Jesus says uh, in uh, John nine thirty nine. Jesus said, "For ju for judgment, I am come into the world that they which see not might see, and they which see might be made blind." They said, and some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words and said to him, oh, Are we blind also? Are you, are you calling us blind? And Jesus said unto them, If you were blind, you would have no sin. But now you say, We see. Therefore your sin remaineth. They know what they're doing. They know they're wicked. They don't see the whole picture. They don't know that they've been deceived by the devil who is leading them into the lake of fire where he's going. If they knew that, they might not have gone with the devil. But the devil promised them power in this world. All the kingdoms of the world, you know, he has power over. And they bought it. And they got rich from it. That's why Jesus says, Woe well, aren't you rich, but you have received your consolation. Hardly shall a rich man enter into the kingdom because they sell their souls to the devil to gain a high position in this world. And the Illuminati are enlightened to do their dirty, dirty deeds. You see, they have light, but they chose the evil side. They are the worst ones. That's why Jesus said to the Pharisees, when they said, "Oh, he's dead, when the Pharisees were saying, uh, are, are we not right when, you, when we say that you have a devil and you're mad? And Jesus said, Every sin and blasphemy shall be given, forgiven unto men. But he that blasphemeth against the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit hath never forgiveness. No, not in this world, nor in the world to come. And he said to the Pharisees, Who has taught you how to flee from the wrath of Vienna? Yeah, those are the these are the most guilty ones in the world that work with Satan and know what they're doing and are do wickedly. It's not the hobo, the bum, the the petty thief, even though they're wrong, thieving and getting drunk. They're not the main. They're not the 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 ones that are the the number one guilty before God. It's the ones who can see. And lead and, and rob and be, to become powerful in this world, and they will work with the devil in his kingdom, and they will go down when, when he goes down, or before even the Battle of Armageddon. They're going down, man. They're all going down, and the meek shall inherit the earth, not the wicked. The wicked aren't going to inherit the earth. And, you know, some people saying, well, uh, well, we're getting raptured out of here before any of that stuff happens. Yeah, who told you that? <laughs> Some lying preacher? You believe those faggots, huh? They're lying to you. Yeah. The Bible says that the wicked are going to be rooted out of the earth. 
and the meat shall inherit the earth, not the other way around. Look at Proverbs, the first chapter. It says, uh, Okay, where is it? Um, oh, second chapter, I'm sorry. Uh, for the upright shall dwell in the land, and the perfect shall remain in it. They're going to be the ones left behind. The righteous. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth. And the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. Okay? So the meek shall inherit the earth. The wicked are going to go bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, wicked. Go ahead and fly. They're a bunch of liars, man. Con artists. Get rid of them.